Okay, so uh, if you read the title, I know that this isn't anything new, but I'm going to be calling some, like when I review older movies, I'm going to be calling it revisiting and reviewing. So let's just get into this video. So I mentioned The Outsiders in a recent short, which y'all haven't seen yet because it's pre-filmed. But I watched The Outsiders the other night. And I had no idea, but there's two different versions. There's the Outsiders, and then there's the Outsiders uncut version or novelization version or whatever you want to call it. I had no idea, honestly, and I thought it was crazy to find that out. <laughs> Just a fun fact before we get in this video. Oh, and another fun fact is that actually a lot of libraries banned this book and the movie from schools because it was too violent. But guess what? I got to read it like in 7th grade, I think, or 8th grade. One of those. I got to read it in middle school, I believe. I don't think it was high school. I think it was like middle school or something because we were doing other things in like high school or whatever. So I guess we were the lucky ones. We got to read the book. And uh, we, even, we actually got to take like, the book home, I think, if we wanted to borrow it. So, yeah, it was it was a really good book. I enjoyed reading that book and watching the movie. Although, I'm pretty sure people are going to say the book is better. Which, I need to read the book again because it probably is better. I just, I really don't remember. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get into the main part of this video. So, The Outsiders. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good this movie is. Like, just without all the, you know, extra stuff, the movie is really good. And what I mean by that is like the 22 minutes of footage that we got cut out. Even without those 22 minutes of footage, like, the 91 theatrical release version of the movie is still really, really good. But I would like to see the uncut version, which that's what it's actually called. But they call it, like, the novelization. They call it the novelization movie or whatever. Um, but, yeah, I, I really love The Outsiders. I remember enjoying reading the book so much and watching the movie in class. Like, I think she showed us... The uncut version, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I don't really remember, honestly. It's been so long ago. It was, like, in seventh grade. But for the movie, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Just because there are some things that, you know, like, wouldn't slide today. Like, because people are offended by everything. But I love The Outsiders. I've always loved The Outsiders. If you have not seen The Outsiders, go watch The Outsiders. It's such a good movie. And the book is even better. And this cat is a nut. And, like, with the 22-minute version, it made it, like, like almost over two hours. And whatever productions was like, no, it, it shouldn't be this long. So that's why there's two different versions. They had to cut it down. What do you want? They had to cut it down a little bit to make it 91 minutes and release it theoretically. I'm sorry, I can't t talk. The year actual. No, I can't. So, oh, you're okay. <laughs> Get out of my video, please. I love you. You're such a cat. I do. I love you. But yeah, I would. I would give it like a nine out of ten. But if it was like the uncut version or theatrical the, okay i said it now if it's the uncut version i would probably give it a 10 out of 10 just because i'm obsessed with the outsiders and i want like every scene but i have the theatrical version see there i said it so that's why mine is like the 91 minute and i'm i'm really i really want to see the uncut version so yeah that's 9 out of 10 and so the next movie we're talking about is The Breakfast Club, which came out two years after The Outsiders. So Outsiders came in 1983, and The Breakfast Club came out in 1985, which to me, they seem so similar. Not, well, I shouldn't say similar, but they just remind me of each other, like both of the movies. It's like you watch one and you want to watch the other, so that's what happened. Plus, um, Emilio... Emilio Perez he's in both of the movies so that makes it even better so it's like there's almost a connection there even though they're not exactly the same type of movie but they're just they just kind of remind me of that because they seem like their family too in a way after everything is said and done after their detention 
honestly i forgot like some of the movie is a little dull to me i'm not gonna lie like i love this movie don't get me wrong i used to love watching this i used to love watching those two movies together all the time when i was a kid it's been a few years since i've watched both of them but um i rewatched it and i remember i was like this scene is kind of dull <laughs> um like <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a masterpiece in its own way, like The Outsiders. But I'm just sitting here, like, just them talking is a little dull. And, like, the relationship between Claire and Bender seemed kind of forced. I I just don't understand that. Like, a lot of people don't understand that. But he was obviously attracted to her. But he was very nasty and mean to her all the time. So, I don't know. Um, That would be my only complaint with that movie, I guess. I mean, I could probably find some more complaints, but we'll see. Um, now that I'm older, I would probably give it more of like a 7 out of 10. That's still very gen... gen uh, gen I can't talk. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Gen genuous. I can't fucking talk today. I'm sorry. It's still very nice of me to give it a 7 out of 10. When I could give it like a 6 out of 10 for being kind of dull and boring at some parts of the movie but i think it is a good movie overall i really did like it like if i was younger still i would probably give it like a nine out of ten as well as the outsiders but i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten because now that i'm older i look back on that i see like some of the scenes are kind of dull i'm not gonna lie they're kind of boring but anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one. Oh, and you know what I didn't think of this idea until, like, after I made the Cable Guy video, like, a long time, like, a, not a long time ago, but, like, a month or two ago. I don't know. I don't know when I did the Cable Guy. I don't really remember, but I didn't think about it, because that movie's an older movie, too. But if it's a new movie, I'm just going to say reviewing, blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's some new movies that I haven't reviewed yet that I need to get reviewing, I put them down in my list to review them and stuff, and I just haven't got around to it. Or I haven't uploaded it yet. So, we'll see what's going on, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.